Hello everyone, and welcome back to Old Friends Dog Game, where we're here with our little puppers! We've got Mac, and this time we have Bagel the Beagle! And look at this! These two are just taking a nap right next to each other, which is so ridiculously adorable and sweet. And they've also been making a little bit of a mess. Oh, and some of the food is done! Alright, let's go ahead and continue with baking some of the biscuits while the puppies rest. And it looks like we actually have... <gasps> A pop cake? Oh my gosh. Okay, so let's go ahead and buy this recipe. And now if we have some milk, we can actually make pop cakes. That is so cute. I can make a great pop cake. Oh my gosh. Okay, so let's bake a great pup cake then. Oh wait, no, I need to go ahead and I need to get more food and I need to get some special milk. And you can make fancy pup cakes and perfect pup cakes. I had no idea these existed. Okay, that's going to be ridiculously fun to work with. Uh, and then, does that mean I have... <gasps> I do have fancier biscuits I could make. So how do the fancier biscuits work? It looks like you get slightly more heart rate from the puppers for their loyalty, depending on what kind of food you can bake. I didn't even know that was a thing. Oh my gosh. Well, oh, and I need to buy some more ingredients. All right, are the puppies awake? All right, they're still snoozing. So let me finish cleaning all of this up. And then, whoop, there's definitely a mess to clean up in the yard, that's for sure. And then we might actually stop by the market really quickly so that I can go ahead and buy us some new ingredients, like the common milk, which we're gonna need a few of if we're gonna make some delicious food for the puppies. We're gonna need a whole bunch of carrots and we're gonna need a ton of dog food. I've also been running really low on toys, but I haven't figured out where to find any more of the little balls that they like. So we're gonna have to figure that out too. But all right guys, so welcome, welcome back. It is still celebrating a launch week time for this adorable game. And we still have so many new things that we need to discover, like some of the stories that we actually have with both Mac and with Bagel the Beagle. And speaking of Bagel the Beagle, we need to turn in the dog blog. Oh, he was so scared. Oh, all right, let's go ahead and post this on the dog blog. Bagel joined us today. He's a little shy, but we'll do our best to make him welcome. Meet Bagel and Bagel the Beagle. Okay, he's so precious. I'm so glad we have that picture. And then we have a whole bunch of things. <gasps> We've fed a dog 10 times. All right. Of course, you've worked so hard towards this for so long, but if you ever get homesick, it's okay. Remember, you can call me anytime. I'm so proud of you. Oh, it must be so nice to have a mom who says stuff like that. Anyway, I thought I should send you a housewarming gift. It's one of the crocheted blankets I've made. It seems like something that could be useful for the dogs, or maybe even as a rug, and a little something to remind you of home. Old Sophie is actually taking a nap on it right now. But you've got to keep up the good work, okay? Take good care of those dogs and give them lots of treats. Oh, thanks, Mom. That was really friendly. All right, so we're doing Wolf's Up Request right now. All right, Mom, I've done it. Now give me, now give Sophie lots of treats and belly rubs for me. I'm already on it. Talk again soon. Oh, okay, so we've come. Oh, Bagel! Bagel's awake, you guys! All right, let's actually see what his story is. Oh, he likes the kitchen! The best way to a dog's heart is through cuddles and food. Since Bagel isn't ready for cuddles, you decide to try to warm him up with some treats. I approve of the plant in the kitchen. What should we start with? Let's try cupcakes. Cupcakes, the cupcake for dogs. You grab some freshly made cupcakes from the bench and head into the gathering room. Bagel is hanging out in the corner. He sniffs towards you with curiosity. I have something for you, Bagel. All right, let's see if he likes this. He is cute. Bagel stays where he is. You slowly walk towards him with the treats in hand. You place the treat in front of Bagel and wait for his reaction. Does he like it? He sniffs the treat and does nothing. Ah, oh, I should have picked the other one. Maybe he's not a pupcake loving dog. He likes biscuits. Bagel looks at the pupcake and then looks away. Pupcakes are clearly not his favorite. You rummage in your pockets for a plain biscuit and place it gently in front of Bagel. Okay, he likes that one. And he eats it. Success. Bagel seems to have perked up a bit. I'm pleased you liked it, Bagel. Bagel lays down and waits patiently for more biscuits you might bring him. All right, so let's go ahead and get baking. That's so cute. So Bagel is a biscuit lover. That's very important to know so that we're able to go ahead and take good care of all the pups, getting them the things that they love so that we can ensure their puppers' loyalty. Oh, look at that. Oh, why is that so freaking precious? I love watching as they just advance. And if we get him up to level five, 
Then we get a new poppers. All right, we need to keep him very happy. All right, so let's learn a little bit about Bagel. He is a male. He is a smooth beige color double coat beagle. And his favorites are the ball and the biscuit. Bagel's story is based on a real life of life uh, on a real life resident of the old friends senior dog sanctuary. Bagel really was a neighborhood street dog who was brought into the real sanctuary by animal control after a storm. Once he arrived, he settled in and his cute mannerisms included uh, include that he loves being under piles of blankets. <gasps> that's so cute. And that's actually really perfect timing because we have piles of blankets. Oh, puppies are making a mess already. Oh my goodness, you guys are messy. There we go. Oh, and Bagel needs pets, so we'll give him some pets real quick. And then how are you doing? Oh, somebody's hungry, and look at this! We can actually go ahead and you can give extra treats to Mac, which I think is so freaking adorable. So we'll give him two treats. He's got a big appetite. And then he needs a new toy. Let's see, where are my toys? All right, there's my toy. How do I get more balls? Like, what if they're not sold in the market? How am I gonna find more toys for him? I'm really worried about this. We don't have his favorite toy anymore. Hang in there. Oh my goodness. Okay, uh, but let's also get mom's blanket out because here, we'll put down another dog bed. And this screaming plant. I love it. I really love it. And then we'll even put out this trophy. And here's, whoa, that's a chaotic blanket my mom crocheted. It actually looks like something my, like, real mom would crochet. And then we'll put this over there. Okay, so that's all the furniture we have. This place looks better already. Really making it so the puppers will be able to relax and have a good time. I love it. All right. And now Noah wants us to pet any dogs or dogs 60 times, and we get a new little outfit for Bagel. And what's this? Hey, I hope your first day wasn't too overwhelming. If you need something to relax, I personally find cooking treats really relaxing. Why don't you give it a go? I have a piece of furniture I think would look good in the space, so let me know how the baking goes and I'll send it through. The baking really helped. I love the chair. Thank you. Sweet, and now we have a cute little chair. And then we did bake some more uh, peppermints for Peppermint Patty, so that's done. We cleared leaf piles from the yard, so that's done. Start baking five treats and play three dog streams. Play three dog streams. Hi, I heart your live streams. When will the next one be? Would you do one if I gave you a reward? Oh, I just can't wait. Thanks, love you. Okay, that's like a little meta for me. All right, so let's see what the chair looks like. Oh, that's really cute. Oh my gosh. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and put that down over here to you. Hopefully we won't get everybody too confused and I'll be able to like, oh, the poppers is on the chair. I love this. Oh my gosh, okay, so let me get more treats baking because apparently that's actually really important. We could do a pup cake, but neither of these two like like anything other than the pup cakes. So we're gonna get treats baking. And then let's do a quick uh, live stream. We now have access to a level three live stream and apparently it unlocks a whole bunch of different stuff. New items, new rewards are available to collect through the live streams and the quest rewards. Yay, hopefully that will mean we can get more like gifts for everybody. All right, so let's put this here and we only have a stick unfortunately, but let's start streaming. All right, hi puppers. Let's do our best. Okay, so give pats, and now we need to feed puppers. All right, all right, all right, feed a dog on it. Okay, all right, give, give puppers toy, uh, give pats, give toy. All right, this is really fun because you have to like really work hard to try to get as many stacks as possible. All right, come on, come on, there we go, there we go. All right, give more pets, give more pets, uh, give a toy, give a toy. All right, give a toy. We're doing good, we're doing good. All right, we'll give a treat. Uh, give pets. If I stack these for a second. Oh, you have to move quickly though. All right, all right, all right. Quick, 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 quick. Okay, quick, 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 quick. Ah, okay, that's actually a lot harder than you think it is because you just have to keep moving and moving and moving to get the streaming going. Uh, but yay, all right, we got a little, a little uh, carrot and we got a little ball. So apparently that worked out well. Level three unlocked, new items available at the bar get, new, new item rewards available and new recipe available to buy in the workshop. Where's the workshop? This is so cute. I really love just meandering my way slowly through this. Um, I see you've got some blueprints. Let me show you how to use the workshop in the backyard. Yes, 
Let's figure out how to use the workshop. What is this? What the heck? The neighborhood cat brought me a mystery gift. One second, friends. Okay, that was really cute. The neighborhood cat brought me a little bit of money for watching an ad. Not that I recommend that, but just that was kind of adorable. All right, where are, there we go. Oh, we've got pets and a hungry puppy. Oh my gosh, if we get more dogs, I'm gonna be just like going around in circles trying to keep up with them, aren't I? All right, all the pets, all the pets, there we go. All right, let's carry on. Gotta clean up the yard as well. What is that? Oh, did I just get seeds? Oh my, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. My heart is so excited if I just got seeds. Tap on the recipe you want to craft. Okay, the used sofa. And the used sofa costs a little bit of money to make. And then, looking forward to seeing more of your creations. <gasps> what? This is so cool. So I can make a modern bed or a simple garden tile. You have my attention. What do I need in order to like make this? Common panel, common nails, and common paint. Okay, how do I get those materials? I'm so curious. We can also get wooden steps, dividers, cactuses. <gasps> Look, there's a little doggy basket and there's a cosmos flower planter and there's a fiddle thing relief. Ah! All right, so this one actually needs rare seeds, rare clay and rare stone to make. This is so exciting. Oh my gosh, there's a doggy pot plant flower. Ah, that's cute. Okay, we're gonna unlock these because I really love them. We have the Cosmos flower. No, we don't. Okay, wait, I thought we did, but we need uncommon things in order to get those. All right, let's get the Cactus Blueprint, the wood steps. So we have a little bit of wood and we need uncommon seeds. So I must've picked up some common seeds while we were like working out in the garden. Simple garden tile. Huh, I wonder if that just makes like Let's see, box beds. Let's just buy all of these. This is really cool. So you can craft your own furniture and as you level up, you'll be able to craft more things. Look, our shed's unlocked now. Wow, and I could actually put like this sofa out in the yard if I wanted to, but we'll put it on the porch. How about that? Okay, this is gonna be, what is this? Oh, another way where you could probably like get something if you watch the little ad there. Okay, wow, there's a lot happening. I am totally like loving this. Mildly overwhelmed, but it's not bad. How's the bar kit? Okay, now we have common bones. Do we have toys? <gasps> yes! Oh, thank goodness, we have the red biting ball. I was really worried because we didn't have the toys that these two like, but it looks like we'll be okay. All right, and then we have the dog treats. I'm gonna bake a few more. And that completes baking the treats. Done. Phew. And I think we're doing pretty good, you guys. So let's go ahead and check out what some of the special current events are. This is actually a special like launch celebration series of events you can do. So we're playing the game, opening the event to do menu. We pet any dog six times, bake three of any treat, give three of any toy, start baking 10 great treats, craft two pieces of furniture. If we do all of these things, let's see. Then what we're actually able to do is, yeah, complete tasks to earn event tickets. There's currently a special event going on. And here we go, the launch day celebration. When you earn the event tickets, you can come in and you can try to like uncover all of these little spots that you have. And you can get this hilarious, look at this naughty fountain. You can get this little like pug fountain to put out in your yard. Part of me is rolling my eyes so hard and laughing because I mean, look at this fountain. <clears throat> but part of me thinks it's actually hilariously adorable and cute. So I do wanna try to get that fountain and I think you get it by actually like clearing all of these tiles away. Um, and you can earn tickets through doing all of these things. So we're gonna try that for sure. And then there's also a raffle. <gasps> what? Look at this cool woman. Hello, dearie, I'm running a raffle. Come, with, uh, come to me with tickets and you can win some fantastic prizes. Prices even? Okay. Yeah, look, oh, okay. So then we need to like spin the wheel in order to like, okay, I'm gonna spin the wheel once and we're gonna see what happens with this raffle. What, she just shakes it herself. Okay, so we got some coins that time. I really wanna try again to see if we can get some other things, but I need to see if I can unlock some of these. So, what, that's amazing. Yeah, I'm gonna try to unlock more of these because this is just really fun. And I want to get more tickets. Uh, so it looks like I can post one more thing on my dog blog today. 
uh, if we go ahead and we come over and we talk to Mac. Also, I need to give pets and a toy. This is gonna be fun. In between all of the other recording I have to do, I'll pop in here and just be taking good care of our old boys. I kind of want to make them in our Labarkatory series now too. And while they're doing good here, I'll record other things and then loop back in when I need a break. I think that sounds perfect. So let's wrap up today by seeing the next story that Mac might be giving us. Mac is lying down by, uh, near the door to the backyard. You wanna head outside, Macaroni, you ask? Macaroni, what a cute name. Mac doesn't react. Let's encourage him to come outside. I think he'll have a good time. Okay, let's go. Where do you think we'll find out there? Or what do you think we'll find out there? Mac seems a little apprehensive. He stays where he is. Let's see. Let's encourage him outside with a treat. He does love food. You search your pockets for any sign of a doggy treat, but only find crumbs. You make a line of crumbs and hope Mac will follow. He is blind, so maybe this will be fun for him. Follow the treats, Mac. And he does. Mac's powerful snoot can recognize treat crumbs anywhere. <gasps> Let's make a little trail outside. This is so cute. You continue to add crumbs all the way outside. There you go, buddy. Max snuffles up every last crumb and stops at the grass. Hey, buddy. Hey, Mac, how does that feel under your paws? Max stays where he is, tentatively sniffing the ground. Okay, Mac, let's go and explore the whole yard. You have to move really slowly, especially with a dog who can't see anything, you know? His nose seems to be dug into the grass, sniffing something. <gasps> what do you find? Have you found something, Mac? Oh, it's a bumblebee! It's a wee bee! So cute! Mac wholeheartedly agrees. He's made a new friend! Oh, that reminds me of the puppy that we were briefly fostering with uh, my in-laws over the summer. She loved following ants outside. She would put her little nose down and she would follow ants through the yard. It was the cutest thing. Mac stands up and leans on your leg. He feels a little more comfortable outside now. Want to keep exploring? Mac wanders off further away from the house. Good! Now he's starting to feel pretty comfy, I think. And ends up at the fence line. All right, let's praise him. You're so brave, Mac. Oh, what do you find? Something in the bushes has startled him. He bravely wanders over the bush, sniffing around to find what startled him. You sheepishly ste step towards the bush. The leaves are rustling. You see the shadow of something moving beneath them. Is it just, <gasps> it's a chipmunk! Oh, I love chipmunks so much! Oh my gosh, I'm so happy! Mac sniffs it with curiosity before they scurry off. Bye, little friend! Mac looks pleased with his discoveries. All right, still scouting the yard, Mac? Oh, he's doing a good job exploring. You really want a blind dog like this to get super comfortable with his adventures. Mac is totally independent outside now. He's so brave. Good boy. You are so prou uh, proud of how far Mac has come in such a short time. Your thoughts are interrupted by some abrupt barking. Now what do you find? Or a tree. You follow Mac who has made his way to the great oak. He's barking at something. What could it be? A squirrel! Yes! So fluffy! Ah, it's so cute and fat! I love it! You guys know how much Chips and I used to love our deck squirrels. We still make a calendar out of pictures I used to take of those squirrels every year. It's really fun. Squirrels are so cute! I love their bushy tails. Mac howls in agreement, his tail wagging with happiness. You feel a rain droplet on your head. Oh, time to go in, Mac! Followed by another, and another! Uh-oh. This place really storms a lot. Time to head inside. Mac agrees and follows closely behind. I'm really glad he's adjusted and he's having a good time out here. What an adventure! Mac has had a wonderful time outside. Oh, nap time, Mac? Ha! <laughs> he's already assumed the snooze position. There he goes. You are beaming with pride at how quickly Mac adjusted to his new environment. I can see many adventures in our future, Mac. There he goes. Good boy. I love that. 
He has a lot of struggles. I can't imagine what it would be like to be a, a like lonely senior dog who just like wants to be able to make his way through the world. Let's see. And it looks like a lot of the rest of his adventures now we're kind of working towards very distantly some ponts. So we're going to try to get some ponts in the future. Uh, but meanwhile, we'll go ahead. Oh, he's already a hungry boy again. <laughs> I cannot believe how quickly he becomes hungry, which just, it just cracks me up. All right, he doesn't want any toys just yet. He wants food. We'll give him double food. And now he's going to want a toy. There we go. Oh, and check out Bagel. Bagel did not take very long to actually start going through and wanting to find his way around. Can I give him some pets from up there? There we go. Wanting to find his way around the yard in our heart. All right, there we go. He seems very cozy. But all right, guys, thank you so much for joining me on this adventure. I am going to find so many leaves. I am so excited. All these rare seeds we can possibly collect now. If you guys could, do please leave a like for our new place. We're doing really good over here, I think. And if you would like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, stay curious. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.